I'm so excited for today because today is the very first episode of Food, Fitness, Footwork Variety. Every Friday, I'm gonna be uploading a short two to three minute video on one of those topics. You know, it might be a healthy recipe, it might be a new shuffle tutorial. Today is gonna be a shuffle tutorial, but it's also gonna be a little bit special because it's gonna be a sort of sneak peek into the shuffle vault. If you aren't familiar with the shuffle vault, it is the website that I created to basically compile all the shuffling shapes, footwork moves that I know with short little video tutorials on each move. I upload new content every single week and so this video is gonna be in the same exact style that I upload all my other videos. I'll include the link to the shuffle vault down below if you wanna sign up. I still will be doing shuffle tutorials on my YouTube channel for everyone but this is just another tool for you to use as you learn. With all that said, let's get into the tutorial. somewhat Charleston position or fifth position. My feet are just crossed over like this. You know, it's not gonna be exactly like this when you're doing the move, but I just kinda wanna get you into a similar position. So I'm gonna pick up my forward foot and go into perch position. Then from here, both of my feet are gonna land out like this. Now, my right foot was just up in perch and I'm gonna pick it up again and come up to perch. Now, I'm going to go into that fifth position, but cross my right foot behind. All that together was up, out, up, behind. Now my left foot is forward and I repeat the same thing on my left side. My left foot comes up, out, up, behind. Now my right foot is forward. My right foot comes up, out, up, behind. And you can see I just repeat the whole thing over and over again. So from the back, what that looks like, my right leg comes up, both my feet land out. Right leg comes up, crosses behind. Left leg comes up to perch. Both my feet go out. Left leg comes up again and back. What I see a lot of the times people do is they'll go right leg up and out and then they'll try and switch legs and go left leg up and left behind, right? But no, it's right leg again and right behind. So you do it all on one leg and then the other. Out, behind, out, behind out, behind, out, behind. So with the counts, this is one, and two, and three, and four, and five. Really the counts can kind of vary depending on how you start this move. Like I was saying, you can start this move from a bunch of different positions. Say you just did a couple of these, you land your feet out, then you could go into one of these. So you can start it from here. You can start it from the Charleston. You can start it from your perch position. Play around with it, but first get the pattern down and then work on starting from different positions and implementing it into your flow in different spots. Once you get the pattern down, a couple of tips to make this move look really good is really emphasize bringing up your leg and landing it out or behind or whatever position. So if I start here, I really raise my knee high and then I really accentuate this jumping out. And then again, raise my knee high, accentuate this cross. Additionally, you wanna make sure your feet are in different positions at each stage. So when I'm here, my feet are in the most narrow, close together position. And then when I come up to perch, they widen a little bit. And then when I land out, they widen even more. So again, that's narrow, middle, wide, middle, narrow. Additionally, what I see a lot of people do is they really wanna like turn their body when they cross behind. So keep your body facing forward in each position. Bum, 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 bum. So let's try this move for eight counts. We're gonna start in fifth position, right or left leg forward, whichever you feel more comfortable with. So we're gonna start and one, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, 